Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm finally with the new Hyundai Tucson plug-in hybrid 2022 model and in this video I will review the car, I will show you the interior, exterior, we will talk about technical data and at the end of this video you will find out everything you need to know about this new Tucson plug-in hybrid. First of all if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the new videos and cars that will come on my channel. Before we start reviewing the exterior and interior i want to give you the technical data so you will know a little bit about the car before we start doing that first of all what i want to tell you that i'm inside the vertex version here in switzerland vertex version it's like the maximum top version that you can buy it in other countries they call it ultimate for example in uk so this is the ultimate version where it comes with a lot of great features for example the glass roof for example it comes with electronic adjustable suspensions it comes with monitor viewing so when you blinking left or right you can see a camera there they call it blind spot view monitoring something new on this plug-in version only on this plug-in version is that in the front on the bumper they also add these active vents you know uh, when it's cold outside they will stay closed to keep the engine warm but when it's very hot outside they will open up to leave more air to go inside the car also this helps the aerodynamic of the car all i want to tell you is that the car come with a petrol engine 1.6 liter tgdi and this is combined with an electric motor that has 66 kilowatt hour power together will produce 265 horsepower 350 newton meters also the boat are connected with an automatic transmission with six speed this six speed transmission automatic transmission it's special made for plug-in hybrid cars and i see that even volkswagen group use kind of the same six speed automatic transmission so that's really Really interesting the car come I know this is really important the car come with a bigger battery 13.8 kilowatt hour battery that allow you to drive only in electric mode 56 kilometer BLTP estimated this is the estimated range probably the real range will be around 45 40 kilometers so that's amazing to have the both worlds in the car so you can go and drive only in electric mode or you can go and drive only in IC mode with an internal combustion engine so for long trips you can use the petrol engine so for short trips in the city you can use only the electric mode so that's really awesome if you want to make this transition from the combustion engine cars to the electric cars it's a great transition between them so if you like Tucson in my opinion if I have to recommend you a version of Tucson because I have a lot of questions about that I will totally recommend you guys to go with this plug-in hybrid because you can save a lot of money most of the people that go to work and home that daily driver they will not do more than 40 kilometers so it's amazing to drive only in electric mode and you have also a lot of technology the price is also good I will give you a little bit later also you have the co2 emission 39 grams so this is amazing also the tax will be lower what can you want more from a car also the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front brake discs in the back uh, it comes with 19 inch rims so they look really good on the car they fit quite nice in the front we have independent McPherson coil spring with anti-roll bar suspension in the rear multi-link coil spring anti-roll bar also independent and also electronically adjustable the car it's four-wheel drive it comes with this hush track the new system from Tucson that allow you to change different driving modes terrain mode off-road modes echo i will show you also later it's a great system that allow the car to adjust depend in which mode you are it will give you the different experience but all about this information in the other video i will have another video with the test drive so if you want to find out more about how is to drive how is the in different driving modes check out the other video the test drive will be soon on the channel if it's not already there just click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out guys i want to talk a little bit about the price i'm right here in switzerland at parisi automobile i will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out if you are in switzerland around switzerland or wherever you are just call them speak with them if you want to buy the car if you want to test drive the cars they are very nice and they will help you so i will leave the link in the description i was really impressed to see this is a brand new car okay and a brand new car that already have a bonus yeah 
It's yesterday. The car come here yesterday, and they have already three thousand five hundred francs discount. So. Boof, blow my mind. I mean, it's a great, great price. And the final price will be 54,850 francs. I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea about what is the price in Switzerland. Maybe in your country, the price is better. I don't know, depending which country you are, price may differ. Also, right now in the video, we will talk about all these options and more stuff so stay with me guys also by the way the panoramic glass roof it's 1500 uh, extra and also the color for the color you have to pay 850 so those are included in this price as well yeah what can i say guys those are the technical data let's go review the car on the exterior then we'll go in the interior and then we will talk in the end we will make a conclusion about the car so yeah let's do it guys all right guys so first of all let's start talking a little bit about the key because it's a different key that you don't find it on all the cars these days and the cool fact is that other than you can lock and unlock the car and also the car come with uh, electric folding mirrors yes as you can see there and also keyless entrance also you can open the trunk by pressing the button for a few seconds it comes with automatic lift gate and not only that it comes with automatic lift gate also by the way keep in mind that here you can you have to hold it for a few seconds actually you have to hold it uh, until the trunk is closed and not only that but the cool fact it is the same as on the tesla cars also you have the option to turn on the engine from here by pressing this button hold this button for a few seconds and then uh, the engine will start and then you will be able to go out from the parking lot and go in from the parking lot so you can see those buttons right here if you press those buttons the car will summon forward and then someone backward so it's it's really really cool feature uh, to have it on the car when you're parking between two cars very tight you can f summon the car uh, forward uh, from the key you can move it from the key so that's really cool that's something to keep in mind that in this price range you have this option is just incredible so as i said before the car come also with keyless entrance so you press this button you lock the car also press it again unlock the car it comes with electronic folding mirrors let's start with the exterior design and let's talk a little bit about the exterior before we go forward so first of all in terms of shape and design is the same Hyundai Tucson as we know it from the normal version from the hybrid version but it's different than the N-Line by the way if you want to see the new Tucson N-Line it's already on my channel check out there for the full review the design exterior design is the same we will talk in a, f a few seconds what is different right here but other than that the LED lights the technology uh, the design the lines are very similar so it's not a big change from the normal version as you say uh, from the hybrid version or from the normal combustion engine version what I want to tell you guys is that down here is the same as the normal version we don't have like we have on the n-line version where here are led lights keep in mind that here down here in this area it's also still bulb light for the turning signals and bulb light for the fog lamp down here but other than that here we have led lights beautiful design i really love this design and this bar here light bar in the back look gorgeous now up here the same story the same nice integration of the logo here in the glass the wipers are up here under the roof spoiler here you have the the brake light led light then you have the this spoiler really nice integrated really sporty and beautiful roof rates in glossy black plastic the radio antenna in glossy black look gorgeous also in the back you have a reverse camera you have led lights on the number plate right here hyundai logo and then on the right side you have tucson plug-in so you know this is the plug-in version down here on the bumper the same uh, six sensors you can see it four for parking those are for blind spot technology the car come with a lot of safety features and then if you look down here on the on the bumper you have kind of an air diffuser down here that looks really nice uh, it's a fake one but it looks quite sporty and nice then you have two exhaust pipes real one that look really really futuristic and new and i like the design of them uh, the way they do it look really really fancy and they are only here on the right side so you can see a little bit better from the back design the way they look also i like this chrome design the way it comes here with the lines also around the edges of the car keep in mind that is the same black matte plastic 
so around the wheels of the car this is really practical because those plastic will protect the edges of the car from rust from scratch and you can be change it very very easily so that's something that i like it now another thing new thing on the plug-in hybrid is that here on the right side you have the charging port keep in mind the charging port it's in the back on the right side uh, and from here you can see you have this fast charging port here 11 kilowatt hour the battery as i said before 13.8 kilowatt hour that means you can charge the car at a normal socket at home in probably eight hours and uh, if you go to the rapid charging public stations, you can charge the car in around two, three hours. Uh, you will have a full battery. So yeah, pretty nice here on the right side. Keep in mind, it is here going forward. Also, uh, we have tinted windows here in the back, tinted windows also uh, on the rear window. Then you have this glossy plastic here in the middle, then the chrome on the upper side. And down here you have some uh, rubber in black. Even down here guys you have this plastic to protect the doors to protect the down part of the car when you open the door you open it with those plastic if you hit something uh, the car will be protected so you don't have to worry about that uh, from this point of view it's awesome the same nice interesting lines and shape on the doors so it's so futuristic this car uh, comes from the future if you look at it it's so unique it's so different the mirrors of course blind spot technology here in the mirror huge mirrors amazing visibility from the mirrors also here uh, you can see led lights on the on the blinkers on the mirror i like very much the design of the mirror it's so unique it's so nice the way they do it under the mirror you have a camera for 360 degrees camera i will show you when you go inside uh, it's a great great resolution those cameras have amazing resolution the front part the same story the same plastic to protect the the edges of the car this is also incredible practical if you look up here you have a camera uh, can read the traffic speed limit lane assist all that safety features are also helped by that camera and by the radar in the front i will show you in the second going in the front the same story six parking sensors actually there are four uh, those sensors are for blind spot technology those are for parking then here in the front we have the same same nice design and led light full led light daylight turning signals high beam low beam led full led lights also some air intakes here that allow the air to go inside here and then go outside uh, around the wheel so that help also for aerodynamic of the car in the front here uh, kind of the same grill this is kind of the same design on the grill glossy kind of a glossy uh, gray dark uh, plastic in the front big huge entrance to allow the air to go inside there and to cool down uh, the, the radiator and then the engine or the different parts inside there. Here you have the Hyundai logo in glossy plastic. I love the way it looks, this logo, much better than in chrome. And under it, you have the camera for the uh, 360 degrees uh, system. If you go down a little bit, you have the radar down here for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features. It's down here, the radar. Now, something new, guys, that I want to show you. Uh, that comes also on this plug-in hybrid is that those flappers down there I don't know if you can see it they are closed right now but they will open up like this that allow the air to go there to cool down uh, the engine even more or they stay close when it don't need it and then the air will go on the side so that help this is something new uh, and that help uh, the aerodynamic of the car other than that beautiful design on the bumper pretty sporty i should say uh, it looks quite sporty it looks a little bit like the n-line one um, i like it i like it very much i like how modern uh, the car look i like the shape i like the the design very much also the hood we look at the lines interesting lines pretty aggressive and sporty in my opinion here on the left side you have the the petrol tank guys the car come with 19 inch rims and also they are very nice they fit quite nice with the car they are kind of the same if i'm not wrong with the normal version or hybrid version and you have brake discs in the back you can see it right there and then if you go in the front you will see that the car come with ventilated brake discs check this out a little bit closer uh, it comes with michelin primacy 4 tires they are really good tires um, to be honest i really recommend them and you can see it right here beautiful the lights yes 
quite interesting. I want to show you the, the engine bay and then we will go inside. Also the quality of the doors, I show you in the other video as well, it's very good. Uh, it's no complaining there. Now, open it, open this hood. In the front you have a manual lift gate right here in the engine bay, but here is the uh, petrol engine. You can see the hybrid Smart Stream 1.6 liter TGDI uh, right here is the same engine that it used on the normal version of the car with a little bit of changes here and there. And here on the right side you have the electric uh, motor, also the inverter, the coolant it's up here and other electrical part and cables. You can see it also fuse box and this is the array of the engine in case you are uh, curious the way it looks. So anyway, 265 horsepower. It's, it's incredible powerful to be honest. It's, it's more than you need in an SUV. It's really agile and compact this new Tucson. Automatic lift gate in the back as you see before. You have the button to close the door handles right here uh, also i like how big is the entrance it's incredible practical hyundai make super practical cars uh, i really appreciate what they do with these cars big entrance here you can fit in a lot of stuff you have a flat floor right here uh, completely flat pretty pretty big uh, entrance and the trunk it's it's quite quite nice uh, in my opinion really really spacious you have also the the possibility to add this protection like that it's working really fine i will take it out as well to show you the way it looks also you have those handles to fold down the seats and both sides you have the speaker right here integrated here you have a 12 volt port as well 180 volt uh, hooks light um, and then under the floor here, I know you're curious, of course, it's a plug-in hybrid. You didn't expect to have so much space down here, but you still have some space for your repair kit, medical kit, stuff like that, uh, to put it here. And if you look under this, you will see the electric stuff right there and the battery, 12 volt battery and other stuff. I think you can see it. All right. So. You understand now, under here a lot of electric uh, parts and it's normal uh, when you want to fit such a big battery and two motors and to have a lot of advantages from point of view of consumption, of economy and CO2 emission. And yeah, but I still recommend it because I still think uh, you have plenty of storage space here. You don't even need the under part there. So yeah, let me take this out and then we will fold down the seats. We will see how much space we have here in the trunk, guys. So let me do it. All right, guys, I just take out that protection so you can see uh, the way it looks right now. The great part it is that you can also fold down uh, the middle part right here just like that and you can have long items you can carry long items and in the same time have two passengers right there in the back so that's a great feature and also it's pretty big I mean here it's pretty large this is really good I was really impressed about that now if you want to fold down the seats you want you don't want to stretch out there and stuff like that or open the doors you just fold it like this it's super simple and here the same story do it like that one second if you take out the seat belt first of all from here just like that let me show you okay take out the seat belt and push it a little bit down they will fit in right there just perfectly let me go in the back now and you can see that you have a flat floor right here the quality of the floor it's it's super super good and you can see it's kind of a bed here it's like a bed it looks perfectly flat also you can see the glass roof look gorgeous from here really recommend you to buy it with a glass roof also let's go closer look at the glass roof all over the roof there beautiful beautiful i will show you later when we go there but other than that perfect i mean you have a flat floor you have perfect perfect place here to leave your stuff it's it's incredible incredible practical look at this gorgeous gorgeous space now let's go on the side here open the door uh, you have huge huge entrance here to be honest and also the door it's opening almost 90 degrees so that's great going inside here you can see the space uh, one more time you can make a better idea I like very much the quality down here look at this you don't have any space here it's just perfectly flat uh, between them so 
they work on every single detail i like that i like the way it looks pretty spacious you can carry big items without any problem i like the fact that you have still here huge space look at the difference here between behind the, the front seats look how much space you have here and the the transmission tunnel it's quite small that's incredible the people in the middle there can stay without any problem comfortable right there so yeah this is it guys now let me put everything back and then we will go forward here you have a big window uh, also you have this privacy protection quite nice quite fancy uh, soft material here on the upper side guys keep in mind that on the upper side here it's soft material down here you have a black with chrome design line then you have stuff material in this area soft here you have also again soft material in this area everywhere here you have leather with stitches everywhere in this area then you have the handle glossy plastic two position heated seat uh, electric window so you can see right now i fold it all the way down so that's a great thing that you can fold down the window all the way down here you have a cup holder kind of for a drink and then you have a speaker big speaker here so overall the quality of the door very good uh, for the back part big entrance as i tell you before and here in the back you can see one more time i want to show you something before it's great that you can adjust these seats the way you want it so for example you can put it all over the back as it is right there and or you can put it in the straight way and you can see the difference between them it's like 15 centimeter uh, something like that it's, it's really really great that you can adjust it you have to pull this down here actually I need two hands it's quite not so easy and you can fold it all the way on the back so you have a perfect comfort over the long long trips the glass roof look just uh, gorgeous over there uh, it allows to come a lot of light inside the car a lot of brightness and and good positive energy feeling uh, with that glass roof right there also the quality of the seats is just perfect i don't have any complaint you have leather it's bright it's long and you have kind of a side support side support up here very nice design uh, the seats are the same as on the normal version the same leather same great quality isofix for child even in the middle here they are quite quite big so even free people can stay here i will go inside and i'll show you the space here cup holder leather very useful as well here behind the front seat you have some plastic to protect the seat some storage space here i like the fact that you don't have a transmission tunnel it's like two three centimeters maybe uh, and then here in the middle you have those vents good quality you have the possibility to to adjust the climatic system here in the back and then you have two usb two ports down here very useful love it going inside the car right now uh, very good insulation this guy here come with this uh, car and if I open the door it's very loud and close the door um, the sound insulation is very good in the car that is what I'm what I want to tell you because I test it is the same as the normal Tucson and incredible I mean they did a great job with the sound insulation the visibility first of all is just very good I should say also you have a window here in the back uh, no problem in terms of visibility in terms of comfort you have soft material almost everywhere uh, the position on those seats is just perfect I mean on the back the way I feel here on those seats is just perfect I don't have any complaint also the headrest is quite good uh, you can adjust it it's perfect I mean the way I stay here I see this glass roof on the long trips will be just glorious now space on my head a lot of space i have 173 centimeter by the way if you want to know that plenty of space on my head look at my knees what do you think about that plenty of space on my knees guys i can stretch my legs a little bit on the front seat there uh, but it's incredible spacious look at this incredible spacious i'm super happy with the space here i can go even in the front like that and i can stay here i can even sleep here for long trips it's just gorgeous up here you have a an LED light a hook a handle uh, the roof quality it's it's very good and then you have this glass roof over the head now if I want to go in the middle I can go very easy because I don't have any transmission tunnel I can stay with my legs together plenty of space here on my knees even so you can see plenty of space by the way um, the seats are adjusted in my driving position here and here I think it's a little bit 
backwards, a little bit more backwards, but you can make an idea from here. I just want to show you uh, the more realistic way so you can make an idea. But look at this. I mean, plenty of space, not much space. Here you have four or five. Here you have a lot of space. So from point of view of space, it's gorgeous. Uh, down here, it's super soft and nice, even for the middle seat. Uh, the back, it's a little bit stiffer, but I can stay here without any problem. I can stretch my hand left, stretch my hand right. So three people here, no problem. Look at this. They have his own place here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So very spacious, very practical, a lot of good quality. Also, you have the possibility to play with the front passenger seat. I guess it's a great option. I think all the airplanes seats, they should have this because I was sometimes in the airplane, some people put the seats all over on the back and then it stay on your knees and you can say like, go forward. Anyway, let's go forward. Now we will go in the front guys to talk a little bit about the dashboard and the multimedia system and the things there. Something that I tell you before in the videos, in the Tucson video review, and I have to tell you that I like very much the dashboard. Really futuristic, new design, modern design, and it's something new, something different. Um, anyway, let's go in the front, guys. And guys, in the front here, big windows, good visibility as well. You have a small speaker right here. You have the same soft material on the upper side. Here, integrated in this bar right here, you will have those buttons uh, because the car come with electric uh, adjustable seats. You can save the position. You have two positions to save your seats in, depending on which position you want. Here, you have soft material in this area, soft material here as well. Uh, then you have leather on the armrest. Um, the same glossy plastic, the buttons for the windows, and then the buttons to lock and unlock the car, the mirrors, adjustable mirrors, then some storage space here in the door bands. You have a big speaker here. And by the way, the car come with Creel speakers and the sound is very good inside the car. So you don't have to worry about the sound. Tucson logo here at the entrance in this plate look nice. Normal pedals, no aluminum pedals, just normal. Uh, and then you can see from here, you can adjust the seats electrically in whatever position you want, super simple. So electric adjustable seats, that's something to keep in mind. On the seats, the same, same, same seat as you have it on the normal Hyundai Tucson hybrid version or normal version beautiful uh, seats and also modern and nice and very good quality very well made i should say chrome design insertion here you have little holes with a nice design here in the middle as well side support side support gorgeous seats in terms of comfort they are perfect one of my favorite seats uh, in terms of design and not only design and also comfort you can see these little holes here and here is because the car come with ventilated seats you can see right here heated seats and also ventilated seats a great great feature to have it in the summer right now it's summer i'm sweating i have this problem on my tesla model 3 i wish i have these ventilated seats so guys if you have the option to buy these ventilated seats go for it because the air will come outside from here and it will hold your your trouser really really nice on the left side you have the possibility the button to open the the tank door and then you have traction control here you can open the trunk and here you have the position of the lights you can choose in which position the lights to be here you have a uh, soft material and nice soft material soft material everywhere on the dash you have almost everywhere you have soft material let's go inside close the door uh, you can adjust the steering wheel the way you want it down up forward backward super simple manually by the way visibility around the windows just perfect i tell you it's they have big mirrors so you have a gorgeous gorgeous visibility also in the back great visibility around the windows you can see one more time uh, the seats right there in the back here in the middle the same leather good soft material you have this button uh, You can open this up and you have so much space here <laughs> Incredible big space here very very useful this storage uh, Then going forward you have also a space here where you can leave your key for example guys So for example, you can put your key here or something like that. It's quite quite a lot of space down there 
very useful that space and going up here on the center console it looks so futuristic so nice uh, you have this glossy plastic and you have all those things integrated here um, you have two cup holders here you have electronic handbrake uh, auto hold right here uh, then you have shift by wire transmission so all you have to do is just press this button to go in park reverse neutral and drive if you go in reverse for example press the reverse button uh, the car will go automatic and open those cameras so as i tell you before the car comes with 360 degrees camera and you can see it has active line so it will show you when you park the car really nice uh, also very good resolution i'm impressed with the resolution of the cameras and you can see you can choose different angles here it's just incredible nice the way it show you also you can see the front camera the side camera even much better than tesla it's it's incredible incredible uh the quality of these cameras also you have this button here you can see it camera you press it and you open all the cameras and then here also you can play and you can see it without being in reverse so you can go zoom in zoom out the way you want it so i'm impressed i mean in terms of camera uh, they nail it here you have the settings of the camera by the way if you want to change it but wow i mean guys it's it's perfect it's perfect what what hyundai did with these cameras it's it's amazing and the resolution it's gorgeous uh, other than that it's very simple it's perfect position it here you just press these buttons and you go in different uh, driving modes uh, if you look a little bit forward here as i said it comes also with hush track and uh, it comes with different driving modes from from here you can change it drive or terrain and i will show you right now when you go in drive from this you can change the different driving modes and then go in, the, in terrain and then change the different driving modes i will show you in a second so for example let me show you on the cockpit uh, the graphic on the cockpit will also change so for example if you are going to the uh, drive mode you have echo and sport mode and depending which mode you are you can see even the graphic on the screen will change if you go in terrain mode you will see you have snow mud sand so pretty cool if you go back echo mode uh, back to drive so all that uh, function you can change it from here then something new on the plug-in hybrid is this button here ev hiv uh, hiv mean you go in a, in a hybrid mode and ev it's in electric mode only and you press this button and you will see an ev there on the right side you press it one more time hybrid mode electric mode you can see down there automatic mode so you can leave it in hybrid mode if you want to if you want to drive only in electric mode you can drive only in electric mode so you can change the, the different modes from here then you have ventilated seats that i will turn it on right now because it's super hot inside here and if you turn it on you wait a few seconds and you can already feel you can hear it right now you can already feel from down here come this air it's really good and also on the back so that's perfect i mean i love this system i wish i had it on my car really nice heated seats also for the passenger the same story uh, parking sensors right here you have downhill assist you have heated seats on the steering wheel a lot of features in this money man i mean if you want to buy a mercedes with all those features uh, you will probably pay over 100 thousand uh, for sure now here you have a place where you can leave your phone and the great part it is guys check this out how cool is that you can leave your phone right here yeah you don't want to charge it but if you want to charge your phone wireless you leave it like here and then right now the phone will charge uh, wireless because you have this wireless charging uh, right here on the side in this area i don't know yes you can see it great and and you have still 12 volt port and two usb ports right there how cool is that a lot of great technology in the car it's it's incredible i mean i love what hyundai did with this car let me show you the glow box here in the glow box you have quite okay space a lot of books right now here also you have a light up there um, and then you have soft material everywhere here it's soft material soft material i like very much also the vents the way they integrate the vents and to be honest guys i read about those vents they are not just like that they make also something different you know they work on these vents you can look closer there you can see that little holes okay these little holes allow the air to go inside the cabin you know like like 
everywhere you know like in tesla it's it's spread everywhere in the cabin it doesn't come in your face it's it's somehow spread very nicely inside the cabin so very intelligent uh, vents system so that's something to keep in mind and also not only that it's very nice design and integrated here but it's also very intelligent system and they spread that air very intelligently uh, plus they have a great great quality as you touch those plastic things they feel really good quality the blinker button it's here I like the fact that everything is flat and you have a perfect visibility outside on the window it's it's gorgeous great job the start engine button it's here behind the steering wheel also the visibility uh, in the mirror here it's quite good you can see right there in the back without any problem uh, then up here let me zoom in a little bit you have also those lights here LED lights keep in mind that you have also the button to open the uh, the roof, the glass roof, and then you have the SOS button, the microphones around here, and here you have also a big mirror with some light, normal bulb light, no LED, big mirror, um, and let me open this glass roof, I know you want to see that, look at this, open the glass roof until here, let me see if it's work more, no, this is the maximum way that you can open it up, yeah, it's still pretty nice, you have this insect protection here, so overall pretty cool, if you want to close it, do it like that, also you can close the curtain if you don't want that sun to come inside the car, so if this sun disturb you, yes, I can close it like that and we can see a little bit better the things right here in the front so for example if you go forward to the climatic system also you have this option only from the Hyundai the driver only that mean only the driver will receive this air not the passengers if you are alone in the car you just activate this you save a lot of energy for later that's really really awesome to have this option other than that you have touchscreen buttons here I know many people don't like that these days they complain but to be honest uh, this is one of the best touchscreen buttons that I see it on the car because they are easy to to achieve from the driver point of view so I mean I'm driving it you know I'm with here with hands and then I want to do something I can do it very easy because it's a very very close to my fingers so I can touch those buttons without any problem I don't have to stretch out to go in menus like I have to go um, in other cars uh, here it's simple you have everything here so you just touch it touch it touch it. it's very very simple so from this point of view I don't think uh, some people will complain you have to try it and then you will understand how simple it is to to change different stuff here so very intelligent so great job Hyundai and I like very much how they integrate in this glossy plastic everything it's integrated there very nice very beautiful I said that before but I want to say one more time because I like the way they did it I'm a big fan of this Tucson if I will have to buy a uh, hybrid SUV I will go for this Tucson for sure also you have this button that will diffuse the air as I told you before and the air will be diffused you don't feel it in your in your face I mean it's it's super intelligent system now going forward guys this is the the multimedia system 10 inch 10.25 inch display uh, it's a great display great resolution the new multimedia system I have a special video with it if you want to see the video with multimedia system Tucson 2021 check out on my channel it's already there also there I talk about the cockpit and every single function right here great resolution great responsiveness look how responsive it is I mean it's great you can go in every single uh, function for example if you go to settings um, you can see that when you touch something uh, the car will load pretty fast and it will get you to the settings really really uh, fast and, and super responsive also you have this new map from Hyundai that's gorgeous you can have it all over the screen or you can have opening here you can have all other information for example the battery information how much battery you still have how much range you still have in electric mode uh, where is the nearby station charging station and stuff like that so it's a really smart uh, smart system now the map it's gorgeous guys it's gorgeous I mean it's really responsive it's work fast you can set up the destination for example in a place here set as destination close and then the, the map will charge really fast it will give you also some alternative routes um, and then you press the start guidance 
and it's working. If you want to stop it, you just press this button here and you stop it just like that. It's so simple. Uh, also you have 3D map, 2D map. It's just super, super nice. A lot of infos, very responsive. Now, guys, if you want to see more about this multimedia, check out the other video on my channel. In this video, I want to show you the most important things. So uh, what is new on the plug-in hybrid is this shortcut here button, have. When you go here in plug-in hybrid uh, mode or application, you can see how much range you have, where is the nearby station, how much battery, you can see the uh, schedule charging, echo drive here, for example, you can see the history of the echo, how you drive, energy flow, it will show you what happened with the energy uh, when you're driving and how much battery, and it will show you a nice graphic here, uh, depend what you are doing. Then you go here, energy, battery energy, you can see the charging information and stuff like that. Then if you go forward, EV range here, it will show you also on the map until where you can drive from here. For example, where I'm here, until where I can go. So <laughs> super nice, super nice. I mean, it's, it's great. It's great to have those options. Now going forward, guys, the climatic system also you can change different information here. I will go really fast in menu here. The phone, by the way, you, I have another special video with how to connect Android Auto with this multimedia system. Check out on my channel. The video is already there. Then you have the blue link, by the way, the car come with this application, smart application on your phone. So you will know where is the car. You can turn on the climatic system. You can see where the car is located and all other infos like that. The settings here on the settings, you can see you have general settings where you find a lot of settings about the multimedia system. You can change the language from here, for example, keywords, the units, mile and kilometers. Uh, if you go forward, you have also the sound settings, a lot of sound settings uh, right here. You can change a lot of things. Uh, and then you can go to display, profile, voice recognize, phone connectivity here. As I tell you, you can connect your Android or Apple, Apple phone but you need to use the cable. I have a special video for that. Check out on my channel. Here, guys, on the vehicle menu settings, you can change a lot of stuff like assistant, motorway driving assistant, auto speed, slow down, speed limit, warning times, warning volume, driver attention warning, forward safety, then lane safety, blind spot safety, parking safety, a lot of settings then you can, you have echo drive coasting guidance you can change also here depend how you like to react the car in every mode um, then you have the cluster information about the instrument cluster climatic system seats lights then doors convenience and default you can reset everything to default so overall plenty of settings uh, to change from and it's perfect. I mean, I like it very much. The sound of nature, notice manual and all the other stuff. You can see it also in my other video, guys. So check out the full multimedia system video. Now, if I go forward right here in the middle, uh, the steering wheel is the same steering wheel as on the normal Tucson or on the hybrid version. It's super nice. I mean, the quality, the grip, it's gorgeous. The design, it's nice. It's really modern and interesting with those chrome and those holes here, the way they design it, it's really interesting. And it's small, it's nice, it's, it's light. You have those pedals here. Um, I think they are for changing different uh, driving mode. I'm not sure about that or I will... I would have to try it. Not sure if you can change different driving mode or um, you can recuperate more energy. I will try that in the other video, in the test drive video. I will give you more infos there. So check out the other video. The cockpit, you already know it guys. From here, from the steering wheel, you can change uh, the view and different information. I will go in the menu right now and I will show you. Uh, depending which driving mode you are, as you see before, you can change the graphics and also in the middle there you have plenty of information uh, speed limit lane assist and adaptive cruise control attention level then you can go to the second page you see the consumption right here we will make a consumption test in my other video here you have energy flow and information about the battery uh, also the speed and the range here you have this extra this is new the range of the battery and how much you can drive with the car in total then you have here information about the, the navigation uh, it will show you some directions right there 
and energy temperature. Uh, this is the four-wheel drive, has track information about the traction on the, on the wheels. But the resolution, the way it's integrated, the visibility from the driver point of view, no complaining. I mean, I love the way it is. Good. I think I show you almost everything, guys. I like also those stalks here behind. I like it. I think they are super fancy and nice. They look in a big, big way. Also, uh, before we go forward, I want to show you one of my favorite features on this Tucson on the or on the uh, last Hyundai Tucson cars, for example, Santa Fe have the same this option. If you want to see the Santa Fe, check out on my channel. So, for example, no matter what speed you have, if you turn this, the, the signal left, you will see the camera that show you what is in the blind spot. This is called blind spot view monitoring. And how cool is that? Blinking left, you see what is there in the camera. Blinking right, you can see also a camera right there. So how cool is that while you're driving to have this option to see if it's something there. You can look there. If you're not sure in the mirror, if you're not sure if it's something there, you look here in the cockpit and then you will understand and you will see everything. Here on the steering wheel, guys, by the way, you have those buttons that you can also uh, adjust and control the cruise control and then on the left side you have the the voice command the different mode the radio the the telephone and stuff like that so very simple to control every single features uh, in this car so that was the video that was the review with the new hyundai tucson plug-in hybrid 2022 model guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you find some useful information in it you see i show you the few changes that the car come with and to be honest, it's, it's incredible what this car can offer. Uh, the price, it's also incredible for an SUV with so many features and so many stuff. I have to rating this car. I will give it a rating. And from one to 10, I will give it a 9.8. 9 okay, and why 9.8 and not 10? Because of the, you know, in the back of, on the lights, on the blinkers it doesn't have full led so i wish this tucson to come also with led lights on the blinkers or on the fog lamp and then i will give it a 10 but other than that in my opinion i think this car it's, it's close to perfection then will be 9.9 .9 if this car was completely electric then it will be a 10 and for the first time but it's a 9.8 my rating for this car amazing car i'm a big fan of it uh, as you probably know it and i like it very much so guys that was the video as a conclusion a lot of great quality a lot of great safety features very nice car futuristic interesting also easy to drive and, and uh, agile you can see the test drive guys don't miss the test drive check it out uh, also subscribe to see it if it's not already on my channel guys that was the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get some useful information please like it and share it if you like it it will mean a lot for me also don't forget to subscribe to see the newest video on my channel also check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of videos articles about the car tips how to buy cars what is hybrid what is mild hybrid what is plug-in hybrid there you find a lot of question about auto industry and uh, thank you very much guys for watching my video i really appreciate that so thank you again uh, stay safe i guess i see you soon in the next one by the way you have the link in the description to the car if you want to check them out here in switzerland give it a try and go and test the car guys you will like it stay safe and see you soon bye guys